money out of it. Raise the hood, there ain't no motor. And I can't remember why hmm. there ain't none. I don't know. Uh, seemed like there was a motor there when you left it here. Well, yeah, I remember uh, Melissa drove it a while. Yeah. And well, that's been so long ago. I, can't, I don't know what happened to the damn motor. Well, I left that damn James and them, you know, when while we were gone two years, and James and them lived here, them bastards. Sold a lot of my farm equipment for damn scrap. I found out later. Melissa called him. Uh, that's that old boy calling now. I don't know who that is calling. Can you hear me, Charlotte? Yeah. That old Vega there. He forgot that he paid me $100 for it. Melissa drove it a while. Somebody's wanting it for parts. But there's no motor. <laughs> he don't know what happened to the motor. Yeah, as a nigger, I'd call. He, old Kevin Lehman wanted some hogs, and I ca <laughs> they called me back. To, but, uh, yeah, I'll just let that guy take that thing. Maybe let him take two or three more around here. He, he works on them old cars. Yeah, I remember when I moved to Nashville, um, I don't know where the car was, if it was down there or wherever it was. Remember you wanted it for Melissa. I think she still lived with y'all, and and you sent me a hundred dollars for it. Well, hell, I never forgot all that. Yeah, and she drove it until the motor blew up. Well, I'll be damned. That's that's been what twenty over twenty years ago. Yeah, that was in eighty two. God damn. Yeah. Yeah, it's been about twenty years. Yeah. Well, is Mark doing all right? You and Mark both doing all right? Yeah. How about y'all? Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, little size living up there in Mama's house. Told me his wife moved to town. So. Yeah, Mark said something when he was down there. We that... worked today getting by a couple of a washer and dryer hooked up, and um, he's you know going to paint and fix the house up. So was he put. We, he bought one of the beds from ancient Savannah. We're going to put actually two of them, and we're going to put, put them up. So when y'all come down here, have a place to stay if you want to stay down here. Yeah. But uh, they cutting roads over there across the road into that uh, into that uh, Alana's place for that well. So I mm. guess sooner or later we'll, some money will come from over there. That's only, we ain't got no letters from the guy, but I activity over. Well, I've got, I got two. Um, was the last one you got about a public hearing? I think so. Yeah, I think that's the last one I got. And uh, I may just drive over there and see or call this guy here in Shreveport and ask him when we'll get a report. If they hit anything over there, you know. Yeah, but they'd have to be on your property, or that three acres around Mama's house is... Yeah, well, that house is three acres. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in that section 26. And uh, that's what I was thinking. That's the reason. I told uh, sister she needed to uh, get a hold of old Cam Terry over there and, and get her address in so they could... And, and you, you know, if you've got Cam Terry's address... Yeah, I think I gave her the number, and she'd called him the first letter I got. This old boy here at Shreveport really don't have nothing to do with the money and all Cam Terry's one is going. Yeah. Disperse money. I tried to call yesterday evening, but I guess you was playing music somewhere. Yeah, I didn't get in till 11. Yeah. Uh, well, I, that old boy's supposed to call me back at 8 o'clock, so I'll tell him he come on down here. And... Yeah, that's your car. Okay, well, I forgot that, Shaw. I sure had. Well, if anything comes up, well, let us know. I tell Mark I appreciate him coming down, and and I'm really glad he got to visit with Randy. You know, it wasn't long after uh, yeah. he was here before Randy died. Yeah, he's sitting here. You want to talk yeah. to him? Okay. Hello. Hey, Mark. Hey, how you doing? Good. I was just telling you, sister, that... That radio you brought down for ancient Spanish really turned the tide for her being satisfied, I think. It seems like she's just doing a lot better up there. Oh, good. Maybe listening to that old music, you know, it helped her. 
Mm. Well, good. Well, yeah, those those were a couple of her tapes that <laughs> come out of her house. But... Might, yeah, I know it. She may put everybody else in the tears up there. <laughs> <laughs> she's enjoying it. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad she's enjoying it. You, y'all go back up there pretty often. You know, I haven't been up there in a couple of weeks, and I got to get up there. I saw Kathy Kennedy at Jean's funeral, and she said that I was on a amount of shit list. So, uh oh. I got to get up back <laughs> up there. <laughs> you better. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Oh, we all doing good. Uh, yeah, everything's running just smooth. Old Jerry and Melissa's boy had her his appendix out, you know. Oh, no, I didn't know anything about he's, it. Uh, he's back home now, though. We just got home where he's doing good. He, he looks bad because he can't eat nothing. <laughs> I <laughs> took him to IHOP. Last time I took him, he eat two different orders born a grown man. Oh my gosh. But he weighs 10 years old. He weighs 150 pounds. Man. <laughs> you have to take him to a buffet next time. <laughs> yeah. All you can eat. I told him he'd get well, met him and just stay over at the IHOP all day. And <laughs> he's out there and we got hungry again and eat again. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking forward to that, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just called about that old, uh, uh, Car, Melissa, but I, I had forgot I had bought that car for her right there. I was in 82, so. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I guess it's, uh, I ain't got Alzheimer's. That's just been that long. No, and I, you know, we just talked, mentioned it, you know, last when I was down there. You said that you still had it back off in the property somewhere. Yeah, I found old boys that wants it. He got two or three of them. He wanted it, wanted some parts off of it. He said, I said, shit, no, yeah, I ain't going to start taking parts off of it. If you want it, take the whole thing, because i got a lot of stuff here. I wish somebody would haul off. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, good deal. Well, okay, Mark. Well, if <clears throat> anything comes up, well, give us a call. Little side, working on Mama's house up there, and he's going to have a, you know, fix up a bedroom for y'all. If any of you want to come down here and stay. When you really? Okay. Count on that. Want to stay down here? That sounds like it might be fun. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, he has him bonfires every now and then. And right. Right. So we can have a bonfire and a cookout or whatever to make it down. Well, good. But, uh, Billy seems to be doing all right. We ain't heard nothing from her. She kind of, you know, wants, wants to be by herself. And yeah. We. Up. Last time I talked to her a couple of days ago, she had a bad cold. She said it just mm. is a bit wore out, so she's going to get rested up, I guess. Well, we talked to her last week, but that's oh, not yeah. since then, yeah. yeah. But. Well, okay, son. Well, well, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you a little later, I guess, and mm. keep us posted. If anything I have down here, I'll call you. All right, I think Mom will to holler at you again okay. before you hung up. I love you. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Right. <clears throat> yeah, Mark had said something about y'all mentioning. Uh, that you needed some way to check your blood sugar? Well, yeah, uh, I need to, Charles. I'll tell you, old James was sitting down here it's been a year ago with one of the side bonfires, and he had sandals on, and I had sandals on, and he was talking about how much weight he had to lose, and they told me he was going to die if he didn't do this and that about his diabetes. He said, see those spots on my feet? He said, that's from diabetes. Now, damn, I looked down, I got them on my feet, too. Yeah, well, you probably have it. Cause I've got it now, and, and um, <clears throat> um, this place that through my insurance at work, they've sent me the supplies, but I can get you a a meter to check it with, and then send you some of my extra supplies, cause I don't use as much as they're sending me, <clears throat> and uh, you and Pat could, you know. Yeah. Check your blood sugar. Well, well, I'd appreciate it because I need to do it. I just, I know I've got it. I guess I'm just scared to find out. But <clears throat> if it goes too far, I'm probably gonna get in bad shape. Yeah. Um, you just have to watch what you eat, and of course, I'm not doing too good with mine. I'm not keeping it under very good control. But um, I'll see if. Um, I'll see about doing that within the next few weeks. Okay. Maybe by November I can have you a meter and then send you some of these strips, the testing strips and the lancets and stuff that you need. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'd appreciate it. Uh, could 
but I, I've, I've got to just make myself do it before I fall out here. I know I don't have near as much energy as I, as I usually have, and that's maybe what's causing it. You know? Yeah, you, you have to quit drinking regular. I don't know if you drink a lot of Cokes and stuff. Well, I drank in diet Cokes. I don't know about that. Uh, no, that's all right. <clears throat> but carbohydrates act the same as um, sugar, like potatoes and yeah, I was too. Uh, uh, I was having like a baked potato every night, but I'm, that's one thing that drives my sugar up. And uh, that's what I'd had the night that I had to go to the emergency room, but I had pneumonia on top of everything else. But yeah, I'll see about doing that by by before Thanksgiving. Okay, well, don't don't cut your supplies short, man. But if you just have some extra one. Yeah, I, I don't test like I should. I go several days without testing because I know it's high by the way I feel. Yeah. Um, well, it keeps your blood sugar down. Uh, I guess that keeps you off that insulin and all. Yeah, sometimes you can do it by managing your diet, uh, but it's harder that way. They've got me on a oral medication, but uh, you need to drink a lot of water. That's something else I don't do. Hell, I don't hardly ever drink water. Well, you need to drink a lot of water. <clears throat> and one of the symptoms is, like, dry mouth. Yeah, I have that a lot, too, just for I don't know. I always thought it was smoking, but it may be dry mouth. That's the reason I keep a, a glass of Diet Coke here by my bed. Well, you need to drink water. Yeah, well, I'll just go out drink. Right, We got good water here on this well, and I'll just keep some water here. You need to drink <clears throat> water, as much water as you can throughout the day. That ke that kind of dilutes that sugar. Well, that's good. And watch your starches. Yeah. So, other than that, you know, it's just... Yeah, I guess all that. You have, to, you have to draw blood to check it, though. Yeah, but this uh, kind of meter that I've got, this new kind, is the kind I'm going to get you. It just It's just a very little stick. And it, oh, it's not bad. So, um, and and it's not like they do it in the doctor's office where they use a, like a, looks like a razor blade. Yeah. It's this little, it's this little thing that looks like a, it's bigger than a fountain pen, but yeah. it's about that size, and you just click it, and it, it's less painful. Oh, that's good. But I'll I'll try to get that done by, by uh, Thanksgiving. Okay. Well, we'll be we'll, we'll be looking for it, and, I, and I'll just have to start doing it. Yeah. Tell uh, tell Mark and Toby thinks he's gonna be riding by himself in his police car by around the 15th, and so he want, he had told Mark he wanted to ride with him some. Yeah. And Mark get down here. Yeah. Do they let them do that when they're? Yeah, everybody goes. Toby's told you know Melissa's kids. And, Mark, he wanted them to come ride with him, so I guess they let him do it. Yeah. He's uh, he's riding now with a boy that's the boy that was one of his fraternity brothers, and they get along good. And they <coughs> try to outrun them niggers at night. Yeah. They ain't caught one yet, I don't think. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, um. But yeah, we'll. I'll be glad to get that if you can. If, you can, if I hear any more, I'm gonna ride over and. Check the progress on that well. If there's anything worth reporting, I'll give you a call. Yeah, that uh, tape recorder, I asked Bibi how Aunt Savannah was doing with it, and she said, well, she turns it up so loud that the lady in the room with her would be unconscious if she wasn't already. <laughs> yeah, that poor woman is in a coma, I guess. Because <laughs> she used to do out of that house, me and Toby would go up there to work. And I'd have it about run us out. Yeah, so I, I was hoping that wasn't going to be a problem. But if we can get some better music on there, they won't mind it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the thing. Well, all them black people like that, like that music. And uh, we get something a little more that they like. Yeah, instead of having everybody crying. <laughs> yeah, that old Ernie, Ernie Ford saying, I forget what that song was now he was saying, but that damn it was saying, you know. About <laughs> <laughs> had me. Well, I, was sitting there listening. I know I can't take all that. No, shit out. But Bibby's the one that picked up those two tapes. But uh. But you know that was that old sad music was what everybody listened to. We used to go to grandma's and 
you know, mm-hmm. sit around up there, shit, everybody listening to that old sad ass music on the Grand Ole Opry. You know? Yeah. That was just uh, their preference then. It may have been all this choice they had. You know? Well, we'll have to send her some Christmas music and stuff that's happy. Yeah. So, just something to give everybody a change up there. Yeah, because there ain't no music in that thing at all, and I just never crossed my mind, you know, to do that, and I think that's made a difference. Oh, well, there's a radio on that thing, too. I mean, they could put it on something yeah, else. I never thought about that. I need to take Si or Toby up there with me and knows how to operate them things and, and check everything that she can do with it. Yeah. I imagine if, if young blacks up there figure it out by now. Oh, yeah. I hadn't been up there but a couple of times. It was about two weeks, and Kathy told me Jean's funeral. They ain't some kind of shit list because I had to come up there to see her. Mm. So I'm going to try to get over there this week. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Well. Well, okay, then. I'll let you go, and uh, I'll aim progresses on that well. I'll call you. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.